Good morning, good morning. It's Morning Devos with Pastor Jen. And this morning, I have two special guests with me this morning. I'm so very excited. So my good friend, Holly, she is uh, the associate pastor at the Peterborough Free Methodist Church, and I've known her for many, many, many years. And it's just so wonderful that she, when I asked, I said, could we, could we do a Devo together? I would love to spend some time with you. She said, yes. And she bought, she brought a friend with her this morning. And so Holly, I'm going to, I'm going to get you to introduce your friend. All right. Well, this is my friend, Sam. Hi guys. And this is Sock Puppet Sam. Hello, Sam. I'm so glad that you're joining us this morning. Thanks for having me because it's such a great opportunity. I love to see people outside of Peterborough. It has been a while, hasn't it, Sam? Yeah. Because we've had chickens and we've had cats and we've had lots of birds and horses, but we've never had a sock puppet Sam. So I'm so never had a sock puppet? This is the first. You're making the debut for sock puppet. So that's insane. <laughs> I'm so thankful for the joy that I'm currently experiencing. <laughs> so Holly, what would you like to share with us this morning? Well, I think even just what you were saying about Joy Jen, I think Sam has really uh, helped to do that for a lot of people. Oh, um, stop. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> Sam was, when COVID started, I was kind of at a loss for what does children's and youth ministry all of a sudden look like? And we have a children's moment. Um, every Sunday and all of a sudden I didn't have kids in front of me and part of how I teach is in that interaction back and forth with kids and so I think it was divine inspiration that um, I had the idea to make a sock puppet. And did a good job, guys. <laughs> she did a wonderful job. <laughs> and so Sam has every week joined me and we've had lots of um, fun together and I think he's just helped to bring joy to a lot of people in a time that hasn't been maybe the easiest to laugh and well, it's soul, it sure is isn't it Sam? Yeah. and so I think part of what's just been on my mind is there is joy in simplicity mm. and uh, so often we get caught up in um, all the frills and all the extra things and the busyness of life um, but a simple sock can a bring joy. Sock with a great mustache. Yes, with a great mustache. And a great personality. A great personality. <laughs> Who knew that such a sock had what a wonderful personality like this? I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's not just the boys and girls. I've had a lot of adults um, too. They ask how Sam is doing, and he's just become kind of part of our church. And all the cards, Holly. We get cards in the mail to Holly, Rob, and Sam. We do, we do. Sam has just become part of the family, and uh, I, that's been really kind of a a challenge for me personally, as well as in ministry too. Is um, all of those things we're guilty sometimes of just. Um, I think trying to be high energy and just keep things moving but when all of that has been kind of just stripped away we've been left with relationships the bible and prayer and it's kind of been a, a good opportunity to get back to just some of those basics right and to focus in on that and just have some time and space to Listen to the Holy Spirit and, and we sing songs. And we sing songs too, we sing songs don't we? Together. we do less. Sam likes to sing. What's yeah. your favorite song, Sam? Ah, from the Great Farewells. Ah. Wow. I'm good at that one. And he sings. He sings a lot. And it's so interesting that you mentioned this idea of simplicity. We have I been all oh, right okay he has a song for everything i do apologize it's i so maybe good. should have warned you that sam just you, you just roll with what comes out of sam that's so good all right sam let's listen to what pastor jen has to say oh when you mentioned simplicity we have been out of our church office building for like 15 16 months and i, I go in periodically and and when we left 16 months ago i took what i thought i needed which I still really don't use. And so when I went back into my office this week, I said, you know what? 
I haven't touched any of these books yeah. in 15 plus months. And so I actually started picking them off the shelf. And I have about 50 books sitting on my desk saying, I don't need these anymore. Yeah. And it is, I found that uh, the pandemic really is a time for simplicity. What is it that really matters? Yeah. And it's not all of the stuff. In fact, I, I realized more and more that half the stuff I use, now that I've actually been living and working out of my home, I actually don't, don't use. Yeah. And I'm thinking, well, do I really need them? The fact that I have been living and working out of the space and there's you know, like days and weeks and months that go by that I still don't touch certain things. Yeah. I'm like, do I, do, I really ma do I really need them? Does it really matter? So when you said, you know, at the end of the day, what really matters is, you know, the relationships and, and prayer and just keeping things simple. Yeah. And a good pair of holy socks. And a good pair of holy socks. Woolly socks. Oh, woolly socks. Holy socks, maybe two. Yeah, I'll probably have <laughs> so, Sam, what is your favorite part, or what do you love most about Jesus? I just love the fact that Jesus is always there no matter what. It doesn't matter who we are, what we do, He's there if we just turn to Him. And do you feel that that's the most important thing that people, kids and adults need to learn? Absolutely. It doesn't matter what happens, what you look like, who you are. There's only one God, and we could all turn to Him if we choose to. That's so true. Yeah. That's the end of the day. That's really what we need, right? And that's the simplicity of the story. I'm a great song with red hair and a black mustache and these very goofy eyes. But I have one God and I choose to turn to him. <laughs> we have one God and we choose to turn to him. That is a good, good message. All right. Well, would you like, I'm like, Sam? Do you want to pray or do you want Pastor Holly to pray? Holly can pray. She's just good with words. <laughs> All right, Holly, would you pray for us? Absolutely. Dear God, I thank you that at the end of the day, the most important thing is that you love us. And it's a simple message, and sometimes we've complicated how we present it. And Lord, I just pray you would help us to just focus on, on your love for us and to just um, embrace the simplicity of your gospel. We just thank you for this day and watch over us, we pray in your name. Amen. 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 Well, thank you, uh, Pastor Holly, and thank you, Sam, You're welcome. for joining us this morning. And so, our dear friends, that's it. That's all. Remember to like and share and go outside. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Bye.